Hey, that's my car. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not encourage or promote anything shown in this video. Please do not try at home. Thanks. All right, y'all, I got my magic stick right here. We finna in a fight up here. Basically, I want y'all to picture yourself in 2015 era. Wait, 2015? Yeah, it was 2015, wasn't it? Wow. Picture yourself in 2015 era, okay? You're young, you're younger. It's like basically almost seven years ago, bro. Gosh, damn, time flies so much, bro. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be 30 years old. It's so crazy. But where I'm going with this is picture yourself in 2015. You know, money was really lower back then for some reason, like. Not everybody had money back then. There was no such thing as PPP loans. There was no such thing as... Actually, it probably was, but it wasn't really uh, known for people to be scamming and shit. Like, so everybody nowadays got some money. If you are got, if you're a nobody, you got a million dollars somehow. Like, what the fuck? It doesn't even make sense. How you have a million dollars and you got a thousand followers on Instagram? No businesses, nothing. Like, it doesn't really make sense, bro. I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is... This is before all everybody had money, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it felt like everybody was broke. Maybe it was just where I was. You know, when you're on the block and you're around low poverty all the time, that's all you know, you know? That's all you think that's around. But really, there's a lot of people that are getting money. You just don't associate with them. You're not in the right circle. That's probably what happened with me. So I was in the wrong circle, definitely. Like, the person I was chilling with, he did, like, heroin, which is, we call it brown. And he was a cool dude. Like, I don't judge people for what they do, you know what I'm saying? My own mother does drugs. I still love her. I don't judge people, bro. If you a cool dude, you a cool dude. That's none of my business. And if it is, then, of course, I'm going to tell him something. But it was none of my business. So I'll come to this dude's house all the time, and... Every time I'll come, he'll always be all browned out, like falling asleep like this. Or he'll have the blunt in his hand. And sometimes it's my blunt too, or we'll be matching. And I'm trying to hit the blunt, nigga. I'm just there to smoke. Like, we'll just smoke. That's all we did. We'll smoke, jam out to like MGK, you know, Machine Gun Kelly back then, nigga. It was so good times, bro. Um, so, yeah. Also, he would get me gas, too, bro. Like, he had a good gas connect. Like, he would get, like, $90 halves, bro. And back then, halves were, like, 100 to 120 So, he would get me some good deals and good, good quality, too. So, one day, we're just smoking. And this man's falling asleep with the blunt in his hand like this. And he'll be asleep for like 20 minutes, nigga. I'm just like, what the fuck? Now, the craziest story about about his situation was one time he was with a girl and they were all shooting up, man. Like, I don't know why the fuck I'm surrounded by these people, bro. I don't know, man. I was really thugging it. I'm a 15-year-old kid thugging it. Hanging around brown heads, seeing the realest of the real things in front of my eyes. Like, I hanged around all the OGs, all the older heads, man. If anyone knows me, they know that's true. They see me as a youngin on the block, just studying, just watching. But basically, they all shooting up one day. This was the craziest story about this guy. And they're shooting up right here in the legs. And this girl shoots him up in his neck. I'm like, whoa, this is getting intense, bro. Because usually I just seen the arm. These niggas are shooting up every fucking where. And he, she gets the needles, points it to his neck, shoots it up in his neck. Instantly, fam, he falls on the floor face first. Boom. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought he died. So, he didn't die, thank God. But the only reason why I knew that was because once he fell, we're like, oh, shit. Even that girl that was shooting up with him, she was like, oh, fuck. And she goes and tickles this nigga 
He starts laughing the way that's how he woke up. He tickled his man. He almost just he just fell to his death. You woke him up tickling him. I was like, bro, what the fuck am I even at? Like, how am I even surrounding with these people? That's when I realized, like, bro, why am I even around these people? I used to be around meth heads. I used to be around brown heads. Zan heads. I used to do Zan, but you know what I'm saying? Anyway. What? So, this is the guy. I just want y'all to know who I was with. So, this is the guy. Um, his, Let's just call him B. They called him Killer B. <laughs> if he's watching this, he's, he knows my YouTube too. So, shout outs to you, bro. You were a cool dude, man. No care. We would go into people's cars and just take whatever we could find, but we wouldn't break into them. I never broke a car door or window. It's only if they left it open, you know? And I would go in it, man. This is what we call car hopping. Now, people nowadays probably would steal the car. They probably would take the radio and shit like that. I didn't do none of that, guys. I left your radio inside the whip. Don't worry, I'm not that fucking evil. But I, I just took like, Scraps like if you left your Versace sunglasses in the dash, they're mine. I came home with Prada, Sachi, Dosi, all the colognes, nigga. I had Versace cologne, I had Gucci, um, you name it, man. Armani, everything like every fresh Hugo Boss, every fresh thing, anything you could imagine. I got it from the whip. Fresh ass glasses, boy. Prada's. I'm telling you, these glasses are expensive. Boy. You know designer glasses, nigga. You know them hoes run you a bag. We went to go do that again. So, I did it with all homies. I did it with every single one of my homies, bro. Every single one of us, we all went before different day, different mission. So, this is another mission. This is one day where it went wrong, you know? So, before we go out, we wait till like, all the way to like 3 o'clock, guys. Now, if you don't want to... Well, we, I didn't know this, okay? But I'm telling you now because I knew what to do. But if I would have known you don't want to do these car hops during the weekends because people actually stay up in the weekends. And I didn't really think about that, bro. I didn't think that people actually... I forgot people, like, actually stay up late, nigga. It's a fucking weekend. You know what I'm saying? Even the kids stay up late, bro. So... We go car hopping, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's like 2 something, barely. And we're going like literally across the street from our apartments. Like literally there's some houses across the street. And we just, not like right across the street. It's like you have to cross the woods, you know. It's like some, it's like across the street, it's the woods. And then beyond the woods, it's those houses, you know. And we, we all go through the woods all late at night, nigga. Just lick at night. And, uh. Boom, creeped out, blacked out, and oh yeah, we ended up far, nigga. We walked far. I thought we walked across the street. Hell no, this mission we walked all the way to like a mile from our spot. I forgot this was not one of those days. You know, we had those days we went across the street, but. We got chased down by like cops before and shit like that. But this time we went farther. Like he would tell me like this is where it's at. Like this is where good licks are. Like and he'll take us to like random houses, nigga. So it was his fault to begin with. He took us there, yadi yadi, etc. Right. So I was like, bet if he says that's the best spot, so I'm, I'm with it, nigga. Let's go. Walking, walking through. Boom, we see this one car, and this is where it went down, man, I ain't gonna lie. It's like a truck, and there's like a bunch of tools in there, right? So like, homie gives me one pack of the tools, and I grab them, and I'm running down the street where to like put them somewhere stashed up. He told me to stash them, so I'm literally stashing these motherfucking bush at some random house, bro. Like right down the street from that lick, from that car, that truck. And as I'm running back, I see a car coming. And I tell him, hey, bro, car, car. And then I walk off because I'm not about to be right by the car while a car is coming. I told him, car, car. This motherfucker is still in the car, still moving shit around. I told him, car, car. You're supposed to get out and 
can walk off like he didn't do nothing. Car bugging, I guess he didn't think it was it was the dude's car that he was in. So boom, I just look back. I'm already all the way ahead of the street. Like I, I'm already type shit like by where I put the, the, the other tools at, you know? I just see his fucking back hanging out like his feet. He's like literally still moving shit around and looking for shit. And, and the truck came that I told him, I told him, bro. And the truck came, you just see four big ass dudes. Get out talking about WWE wrestler dudes. I'm 15 years old. I ain't got a strap, nothing. Big old dudes. I, I told him, bro. I told him. I said, car, car. Like you're supposed to run when you see that, when you hear that, bro. Boom. I just see them get out and I just see it get stuck on time. Boy, I just chop it. I don't run. I did not look back, bro. I chopped it, fool. I, I, I remember I jumped a fence to a crib. I jump another fence, and then I'm in the. I'm I'm ducked off like like Friday. Um, what's his name? Smokey from Friday. I'm just ducked off, all paranoid behind the AC vent of some random dude's house, and I'm thinking, damn, what if they shoot me in this house because I'm in some random person's property, and there's a dog. There was a dog too, and he was about to bite my ass. He didn't see me yet though. I'm hearing a dog, and I'm like, I hope it's not in this yard, bro. I hope there's not a dog in this yard. And he's still barking, and I'm like, thinking in my head, like, if those guys chase me, and they're like behind me, they're gonna hear the dog barking, they're gonna know where I'm at. I have to get out of here. And I'm seeing a big old a four wheeler in the back of the yard and everything, like property in the yard. So I know if they see me in this yard, they're gonna might probably shoot me, thinking I'm trying to steal a four wheeler or something in the yard, dirt bike. I'm like, bro, this is fucked. Up. I was scared. I'm like scared. I'm gonna get shot from this guy and I'm scared I'm gonna get beat the fuck up from these four wrestling niggas. I didn't know what to do. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm waiting like five, ten minutes. I have no phone. I have nothing. Like I didn't have a phone back then, bro. I didn't have a phone till 2017. Like a real phone. Um I didn't have no no nothing, fam. Like I, I was just I just had my blunt and I was just scared. I didn't even know where I was either. Like he took me there, so I had to really figure out where I was. I had no idea where I was. So by the time I jump that fence, I run all the way down, and I just keep going. I see two cops <sighs> right in the neighborhood, bro, so you know it was for us. I dropped the blunt, nigga, so sad. Right at the car wash. I just fucking had it in my hand, and I saw the cops. I just dropped it because I thought they were going to come to me. Like, I thought I thought they were really, because they knew who I was. Like, they knew that I ran. They probably got my description and everything. So I just dropped the blunt all casual, and I just walked off like I didn't drop it. Damn, nigga, I fucked up. And then I didn't even go back that night. I said, fuck that. I, I stayed all the way to the next day, put on a different outfit, and I went to go try to find that blunt. That's how down bad I was, fool. I went all the way a mile just to go find that blunt at the car wash, and I couldn't even find it, fam. I was so mad. I was so disappointed on that. Now, as I'm walking back, I go to the H-E-B. It's like a, it's like a store. It's kind of like a, like a Walmart for Texas. I see this. This is the killer me. I'm like, bro. He's like, what happened, bro? Like, he's trying to tell me. He's like, where's, where's, where's the tools at? Did you get them? I'm like, nah. But I wasn't worried about that. He's worried about the tools, bro. I'm looking at his face. He's fucked up, bro. Oh, my God. He had two black eyes, bro. He, like, busted lip fat. Like uh, chin scraped everything. I'm like, damn. And I was, I was like, damn, fam. I told you a car. I told that it was his fault, fam. It was fucking his fault. And I do not regret running. I was not about to get beat up for him after I told him car. You know, he's telling me I just got a new phone. He said some lady found him walking and she felt bad and she gave him a hundred dollars and a phone a brand new phone because he said he lost his he said apparently they were beating him up and they kept him on the curb waiting for the police to come but he said that he ran once they stopped beating him up he ran and got away and the cops didn't get him you know what i'm saying because he said they're gonna keep on beating him up till they came and he didn't want that you know what i'm saying He's all beat up, guess that, yada yada. He's still worrying about the tools, man. I'm just like, what the hell is wrong with this man? I tell him I left the tools by the bushes and ain't no fucking way we going back to go pick up those tools, my nigga. Hell no, I ain't going back over there. So, that was the last day I hit 
Carlix, man. I really learned a lot from doing dumb things, you know? Like, if it wasn't cops catching me, it was something like that happening. And thank God we didn't get shot. Thank God we didn't get killed. Because nowadays, you know, you're allowed to kill somebody if they go in your car um, stealing. It's your property. And if it's by your house. We got blessed, and I hope he learned his lesson, which he did not. But I was hoping he did. Um, yeah, man, that was car licks gone wrong. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video, man. If y'all want more story times, let's get 5,000 likes, and I got another one for y'all. Hey, that's my car. Brown shit, that's what you ran over right there. What brown shit? That little brown can. Oh, over there. there. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> He's like, that's Mike, alright. <laughs> Damn, we came here yesterday and it was closed. So we check it out today. Yeah, that's Mike. 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 Pulling up right now, house is in. Let's see if they got something. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. That shit high. Oh, that's a, 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 a band from the. This one looks great. Ew, what the fuck? He's nice. Yeah. That one looks hard. They just know you're the flyers, right? Right. I, I, when I, as soon as I hop out, they'll be like, "Damn, that's real sheep, and that's it might yeah. be." There's a mirror right there, and shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These hoes are hard. Damn, that's the zip right there. Yeah. That's crazy hard. Wait, Chris got the drill. You are pleased, you're pleased the shoe gods today, Chris. Yeah, yeah. The shoe gods are pleased. Shout out to young Mike. Yes, sir. Drip. You know the deal, fam. You know the deal. Gang, 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 gang. Huh? You don't know me. Look. Look. That's fine. Hey, keep me a 40. First lit when I was six. Yeah, bitches ignore me. Same bitches on my dick. Yeah, no, you don't know me. Why you acting like you did? Yeah, this is your story. And you know I plead the fifth. Yeah, keep me a 40. First lit when I was six, yeah, bitches ignore me Same bitches on my dick, yeah, know this ain't Mari But the bitch I love my kids, yeah, know this ain't Mari But the bitch I love my kids, yeah, 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 yeah. I get the money now, I'ma go count me some money, mm, count up a hundred thousand Why you looking at me funny, mm, like I'm holding out Remember we was all bummy, 